The death in Japan has just been announced at the age of 87 of one of the pioneers of electronic instruments. Ikotaro Kakahashi founded the Roland Corporation in 1972 and it became one of the largest producers of electronic musical instruments, everything from synthesizers to electronic organs and pianos. Here's a flavour of his instruments being used on some of the most influential tracks in the 1980s. And we were listening there to Michael Jackson Thriller with a Roland 808, the SOS band Just Be Good For Me, also on a Roland 808, and Europe, the final countdown with a JX8P. But as Gino Ribeiro of Electronic Musician magazine explains, success for the Roland synthesizer wasn't instant. A lot of the instruments didn't necessarily hit right away. In the case of like the 808 and the 303, it was sort of later when they became less expensive either through the used market or it was one of these things where it was just a sound that people had used on one record, it became a hit, and suddenly everybody had to have one. It becomes family. These artists are living with these things in a, I mean, they're into, you're as intimate with your drum machine as you are uh, if you're a violinist and you have your one instrument. I mean, this is the voice of these artists. It's your toolkit. The TB303 bass synthesizer, manufactured from 1982 to 1984, was one of the iconic electronic instruments he pioneered. It was used extensively in acid house and the rave scene in the 80s and 90s. It's a sample of Josh Winks's tra uh, track as Higher State of Consciousness, first released in 1994. Ikotaro Kakahashi was an innovator until the end of his life. He jointly won a technical Grammy Award in 2013 for the creation of MIDI, a system which allows any electronic instrument to play any other instrument and can even control lights. His collaborator was Dave Smith. He had known the synthesizer guru since the 70s. It was a very small industry back then, and it was, it was, it was actually a, a good time because the synthesizer market was just starting, uh, and even though a large number of us were competitors, we were also uh, very friendly and uh, got together quite well and would uh, get together quite often. Uh, he was an amazing man. He was so full of energy all the time. Uh, even the last time I visited him, which was about two years ago, I think, uh, he was ill at the time of the Grammys, so he couldn't come out, and his son accepted the award for him. So uh, I wanted to visit him in his home. Uh, and even then, he was starting a new company, and he was happy and full of energy. And uh, he, he was just an amazing man, a, a good friend, uh, <laughs> a very good competitor, of course, uh, and just innovative uh, continually all that time. Musician Dave Smith on the death of Ikotaro Kakahashi.